Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the comparison of fuzzy MPPT ba battery charger controller with the pure MPPT battery charger controller. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the model we have created for testing of Fuzzy MPPT battery charger controller and PO MPPT battery charger controller. So here we are having same kind of power rating in PV, battery and buck and water. Okay. First I am going to explain about the, the Simulink model of this. MPPT Chola charger controller with the first MPPT and the PO MPPT. So this model consists of 2000 watts PV panel. The single panel rating is 250 watts. So here we are having, we are connecting four panel in series and we here we have two parallel strings. When connecting four parallel series, we are getting 1000 watts. We have two parallel strings, so total power is 2000 watts. The single panel open circuit voltage is 36.6 volt. The voltage at maximum power point is 30.9. The current short circuit current is 8.75 amps. The current at maximum power point is 8.4 amps. Here we can see the, the peak power variation with respect to the different irradiation condition. The peak power is going to be very depends upon irradiation value. For 1000 watts per meter square, the maximum power is around 2002 watts for 800 is 1595 for 600 is around 1187 watts for 400 is around 781.1 watts for 200 is around 379.7 watts so suppose I am going to use 500 so for 500 the power is around 983.9 watts okay it's almost 990 watts and the battery is connected here via buck converter the PV voltage is around 123.6 and battery voltage we are having 48 volt and then power rating is 2000 and 2 so based upon this value power rating voltage rating and the output voltage rating so we need to design this filter inductor L1 and C2 so the C1 normally we are using 1000 microfarad so in order to hold that voltage across PV panel almost constant and then here we are using fuzzy MPPT battery charger controller it receiving the PV panel detail and also it receiving the battery drain detail so here you can see that this fuzzy MPPT the fuzzy MPPT receiving two inputs VPV and IPV and then it will be generated to the cycle and here we are measuring the battery detail so first we have to measure in the SOC of the battery here we are measuring battery voltage first we have to check the SOC of the battery is less than 100 if SOC of the battery is less than 100 so we can allow the duty cycle and also here we are going to compare the another condition that means the constant voltage condition that means 
we are going to consider that uh, the voltage at uh, full charging condition that means that is nothing but the floating voltage okay so you can see here right i am going to open the battery so this is a battery detail 48 volt 208 battery so initially we are having 50 percentage that means initial start up charge so here you can see that the fully charging voltage is around 52.26 okay so here we have to provide that uh, the fully charged voltage level so we have to compare that uh, the charging that in voltage level of the battery if both condition is true the SOC of the battery is less than 100 and battery voltage is less than that uh, fully charged voltage condition then we have to allow this MBPT via pedulum generator this pedulum generator will generate the pulse for that uh, buck and water in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel so this is a block inside that uh, fussy MPPT so here we are measuring the PV and the IPV and then here we are calculating the power here we are calculating the change in power P of n minus P of n minus 1 so P of n nothing but uh, current instant power p of n minus 1 nothing but uh, previous instant power and here we are calculating the change in voltage that means v of n minus v of n minus 1 so v of n nothing but current instant voltage v of n minus 1 nothing but previous instant voltage and then here we are uh, using some switch so why we are going to use switch some that means when the steady state point that mean uh, when panel or PV array is operated at a peak power point right the V of n minus V of n minus 1 always 0 ok here we are taking the input for that fuzzy input which is equal to del P divided by del V ok so during that uh, maximum power point condition the del v is 0 then here we are getting the none value right so in order to avoid that problem so we are using switch case we are comparing the value that means the change in voltage is greater than 0 ok then it won't be allow this value otherwise if change in voltage is equal to 0 then you have to divide this del p with the, the minimum value 1 e power minus 2 so for this reason only we are using this switch block so after that so here we are having the slope right that means uh, del p divided by del v so this is the input for the fuzzy logic the output which is equal to duty cycle ok so for that we have create the fuzzy rules So this is a C retail. So this is input composite function that means del p divided by del v. So it is the range between minus 10 to 10. And then so this is duty cycle, it range from 0 to 0.8. Okay. And then here you can see the rules. So these are the rules, okay. When the change in power would have been change in voltage equal to zero, the duty cycle will be maintained at 0.6. So when, when the change in power would have been change in voltage is, is nearer to zero, okay. Sorry, is near is nearer to minus 10, right? then duty cycle to go to 0.6 so based upon this value right so the change in power to be change in voltage value that is called slope right so the duty cycle going to be very okay so this is working of this fuzzy MPPT algorithm used for the battery charger application It will be generated the duty cycle 
first MEP to generate the duty cycle and here we have to check the SOC of the battery and fully charge the voltage condition of the battery if both condition true then duty cycles flow through that PDLM generator and the PDLM coil is going to be given to the buck and water in order to gen, uh, extract the maximum power from the PE panel so this is the summary model for the uh, first MPPT battery charger controller for uh, solar PV based uh, charging of battery so next I am going to explain about uh, the PO the same same condition we are the same rating of uh, PV battery and buck and water used and inside we have P, P and W beating per tap and absorb algorithm right so this is here we need to measure the PV voltage and current and then you have to calculate P of K P of K minus 1 and then you have to calculate del P so here we have to calculate P of K minus 1 so this is V of K so this is del V and here you have to check the condition if del B equal if del B is greater than 0 then it will be allow this <coughs> output of this Swiss plug if del B is not uh, greater than 0 then it will be allow this switch plug okay so after checking this del B is greater than 0 or less than 0 or next you have to check del B when the del B is greater than 0 or not if del B is greater than 0 so then we need to decrement the duty cycle if del B is less than 0 so we need to increment the duty cycle okay so if this condition is not true so we need to check once again at del B if del B is greater than 0 we need to increment the duty cycle if del B is not greater than 0 so we need to decrement the duty cycle so here we are using that uh, the duty cycle accumulation concept so every time in the duty cycle can be accumulated okay uh, finally this duty cycle is processed via this fuel generator uh, based upon this soc of the battery and uh, uh, full charger voltage condition of the battery okay now i'm going to simulate this model so first i'm going to simulate some simulate uh, that mean i'm going to simulate the model at a constant irradiation that mean i'm going to fix 1000 watts per meter square and 25 degrees celsius and then i'm here i'm going to measure the pv voltage current and the pv power and here i'm going to measure battery voltage current and the source of the battery so now i'm going to simulate this one with the po mbpt charger control so this is a response that means response of pv voltage pv current pv power so this battery voltage battery current and the soc of the battery here you can see that the soc is keep on charging and then you can see that during charging time you can see that uh, voltage level is increasing the same condition I'm, I'm going to apply for a for CMPPT charger control and then I'm going to check the result of PV voltage current and power and then battery voltage current and power so this is the result of for CMPPT charger controller that means this is PV voltage current and the PV power so this is battery voltage current and SOC of the battery so first I am going to compare the PV panel characteristics between fuzzy and the P and to MPPT so here you can see that the P O MPPT having some oscillation during starting right so about 0.2 seconds it is having oscillation but the oscillation is not in the fuzzy MBPT algorithm okay and also you can see that there is oscillation in the current as well as power okay so here you can see that the fuzzy MBPT will be reached the maximum point at the time of uh, nearly 0.01 seconds okay but here you can see that the 
PO and BPT reaches the maximum point of 7.18 seconds. Okay, so it will take the long time to find the maximum point. So next I am going to compare the ba battery details. So here you can see that because of PMDPT, the battery having some oscillations. Okay, but here you have the current is smooth in the first MBPT charger controller. Okay, so this is the difference between the battery details. Okay, in between first MBPT charging and P and MBPT charging. So next I am going to change the condition. So I am going to change the irradiation, right? from uh, 1000 to 500 at the time of 1 seconds and then I am going to check the response of the system so here you can see that at the time of 1 second the irradiation change from 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square so it extracting the maximum power from the UV panel without any transition in the during the deradiation change so and also you can see that there is no transition in that uh, battery current during that uh, irradiation change in uh, in the first MPPT battery charger controller okay so next i am going to apply the same condition for endo MPPT charging control and i am going to check the results So here you can see that because of change in irradiation, so a lot of oscillation is occur in the PV MBPT that means in PV voltage and PV current and also there is a transition in that PV power during that change in irradiation. So and also you can see that the battery current also having some oscillation because of change in irradiation condition. Okay. But this, this detail is not present that means this transition effect is not the present in the fussy MBPT, right? When compared to the battery current of the fussy with the fussy MBPT with the under paint MBPT, the fussy MBPT charging is having smooth response and also checking the PV power. Okay, so it is having smooth response with the fussy MBPT charging but it having transition response in the P, P and O MBPT charging. So this is a comparison of the first MBPT charging and the P and O MBPT charging. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming video. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.